Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. I believe you have watched the last video, which describes the functionality of the delivery and dispatch module. If you didn't, I highly suggest that you may watch it first. The link is shared at the top right corner. Back to our topic today. Today we will start the step-by-step -step workshop. We will splitting the workshop into several parts. Part 1, the client master and team master, which is handling the client and delivery team data. Part 2, the job master, which including the job data registration and the job map. Part 3, the pickup list and delivery list, which manages the pickup and delivery process. Last, part 4 will share the format rules and auto notification. We will share some format rules to beautify the app and the auto notification of delivery status to the client and delivery team. Okay. Let's start the workshop today. Let's start with the team master. This is our team master table. Record ID is a text column with an initial value of a unique ID. Name is a name column. Photo is an image column and the contact is a phone column. Email is an email column and the current location is a lot long column. Created date is a date time column with an initial value of now. Created by is an email column with an initial value of user email. Location update date time is a date time column with an initial value of now. This column is keeping the latest changes in date time of the current location column. Lastly, the related job masters are auto created by app sheet. The team master table is ready. Let's check out the user interface. Set the team master as shown. Next, let's check out the team form. The team form is auto-created. We just required to set the column order. Done, let's check out the team detail. The team detail is auto-created. We are just required to set the main image and column order and the image style. Alright, team master is ready. Let's check out the client master. This is the client master table. Record ID is a text column with an initial value of unique ID. Company name is a name column and contact number is a phone column. Address is an address column. Location is a lot long column. This column stores the lot long value which is converted from the address column. The conversion is using a geocode function in Google Sheet. To implement this geocode function, we have to set up the script in the Google Sheet first. You may watch the step-by-step -step configuration for geocoding video that I have shared. Email is an email column. The created date is a date time column and created by as an email column. Same as team master table, created date with an initial value of now, and the created by with an initial value of user email. Lastly, the related job masters is auto created by app sheet. The client master table is ready. Let's check out the user interface. Set the client master as shown.
Next, let's check out the client form. Client form is auto-created. We are just required to set the column order. The client form is ready, let's check out the client detail. Client detail is auto-created, and we are just required to set the column order. Alright, both client master and team master is ready. Next video, we will go through the job master. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. So that you will be notified once the video is published. Alright, we end here today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.